Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush from the SketchUp Arca Studio. Today we have a new tutorial about the exterior rendering in the Enscape. So, this is the one of the realistic renders I have ever teach in the YouTube channel. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe us and please support us. Let's get to work. I'm gonna start with the Enscape environment. As you can see, I'm gonna move inside my environment. This is one of the projects have been done by the SketchUp Arca Studio called Pernia Music Studio and this is the interior design of it as you can see full of the objects, assets related to the Enscape and all of them have the highest quality in the rendering. So this is my house in here like the studio, the facade of this building is the uh, concert and wood or metal. So. I'm gonna start my rendering with my shots, so I'm gonna click on the F on my keyboard and select my camera number one and I will switch back to my main camera shots. So first of all I'm gonna turn on the save frame in here, so I'm gonna click on it. After that I'm gonna click on the visual setting in here. All of the sun, shadow and sun direction has been done before this tutorial and it's set automatically. So I'm gonna start with the main bar in here. First of all I'm gonna fix my camera. So I'm gonna decrease the field of view to zoom on my main model as you can see. For making realistic renders you need these three leaves in here. So always try to save them in your camera shots. So I'm gonna reduce it something like that as you can see. Some number about 60 is really good. After that, I'm going to minimize my Enscape bar in here and the SketchUp. So now I'm going to move some trees in my environment because I need some tree leaves in it. So I'm going to start with these three. So I'm going to move it a little bit to the left side. As you can see, something like that. After that, I'm going to use this three too, so I'm going to move it a little bit like this. And if you see in the camera, we have some tree in here. I'm going to move it again. Something like that. And now my render is much better than the past. So I need another big tree for display sizing. I can use other trees like the uh, red or yellow trees so I can move them a little bit something like this and now my render is much better than the past so I think everything is done right now so I'm gonna switch back in the Enscape bar in here I'm gonna select camera number one now my frame is activated so I'm gonna close it in here I'm gonna come to the visual setting actually I don't like these clouds in the air so I'm gonna click on the sky option in here and turn the clouds to the zero in the density, variety and size amount. As you can see shadows get darker and sharper. So I'm going to reduce the contrast too and latitude or latitude is not useful right now. So I'm going to click on the atmosphere. I don't need any type of fog in my environment so I'm going to convert it to the zero. After that we have some brightness but I don't want to change it because I will come back to the image bar in here and I must check my color in this place color so I'm gonna turn on the auto contrast as you can see it's select best setting for you and it's only by the Enscape we don't have any type of parameters to add or you can turn the shadows by yourself but I don't suggest this option because auto contrast is really careful and detectable so if you want some warm render, you can convert your color temperature to the downside. As you can see, if you look at these places, we have some warm color, but it's too warm and it's not realistic at all. So I'm going to increase it a little bit, something about near to the morning. So when you walk in the street and the time is near to the morning, actually we have a little bit cold temperature colors in the environment. So I'm going to change it to the 7005 100 after that we have the saturation i think saturation is good right now but you can decrease it or you can increase it as you can see if you increase it all of the colors will be vibrance 
and get much saturate and it's not realistic because we don't have some trees like that it's a super green and it's not really realistic so i'm going to convert this color to be a 104 and glass reflections is good we can see the inside of the house and motion blur related to the animation i don't want to talk about it and lens flare so what is the lens flare i'm going to move the sun position in my environment as you can see some type of sun like that and move it a little bit look at this place in here if i increase the lens flare as you can see we have this effect in our screen but it's not really useful in here because i want some shadow and some position from the back side so i'm going to click on the camera number one and i will switch back to my default camera shot so lens flare is about series six is good right now we have bloom option i don't want any type of blue in my screen so i'm going to convert it to the zero vignette will be reduced to the 16 and the chromatic aberration is about zero percent so image bar is down for us and we don't have any job with it in the main bar we have the exposure if you want to make your renders much brighter than the past you can click on the exposure and push it to the upside but if you look at these places in your render it will be burn some places on your materials like the concert or white brick so i suggest to you to use some normal numbers about 56 percent fold of view is good and depth of field so i'm gonna focus only on my cars and my facade and my little pool in here so i'm gonna increase the depth of field as you can see what will happen we have some blur screen in here so i'm gonna turn off the autofocus i'm gonna manually adjust my lens camera very simple and easy i'm gonna start with the fp focal point so if i reduce it as you can see the blurness will be much increased and we have these type of bouquets in here so i'm gonna increase it a little bit a little bit we have some shiny line in the landscape environment as you can see so i'm gonna move it to touch my facet in here my windows my cars and etc so i'm gonna type 22.62 in here and now i only focus on my target in this place i think it's good right now what happened if i increase it a little bit I think it's good it's really good all right and now i'm going to decrease the depth of field a little bit something like that and turn it about series six you can play with the uh, focal point in here to get the best result of it i think 22 point series is the best number and if you want to create some type of graphical renders you can increase the outline but i really don't like these type of styles because it's really not useful in different type of projects and you will use it much rarer than the other sides so i'm going to convert it to the zero in here only we have atmosphere in this place so uh i'm gonna make my shadows much sharper to see what happened look at this place we have three leaves shadows in here so i'm going to increase the shadow sharpness as you can see it will calculate and give us these type of shadows so i'm going to hold it on some high value number about 86 artificial light brightness is not really useful in here because we don't have interior render we have some brightness you can reduce it a little bit about 70 and ambient brightness can control the interior light with the daylight and sun so when i increase it about some number 66 i think it's really good in here but you can manage it about 54 percent too we have wind option look at these trees in here if i increase the wind option you can see fast movement of the tree leaves or seeds so i think some number about eight is good skybox is done for us output i want to output it by the jpg and i'm going to customize my resolution so how can i customize my resolution i'm going to click on the custom option in here i'm going to convert to the qhd quad ultra hd so i'm going to type 2560 
in some number about 1920 as you can see this is the 43 aspect ratio for the renders and the quality on the highest place so after we change the resolution you can see the changes in the camera position and camera distance from the target so you can change the field of view again and zoom it a little bit something like this so i'm going to type 50 for my fov and i'm going to adjust focal point again because it needs some changes in this place i think something like that all right 22.32 is good and I'm going to reduce the path field a little bit, for example, 20. And now I think it's much better. If you want full blurness, look at this leaf in here. When I increase the, the path field, this is the result we have in here. And it's not realistic at all. So I'm going to change this number to some number about 26. All right, everything is done. My camera pitch and camera EI is about zero, so I don't need to convert it to the two point perspective. So I'm going to hold it on the normal perspective in here. So I'm going to check out all of these bars again main bars check, image check, atmosphere check, sky is good, and the output is check. So only one work we have to do and increasing the rendering quality, but before that, you can save your render setting in the uh, displays. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on that, click on displays, save as the file, and I'm going to save it on my desktop, for example, render setting, and press save. Now you save your render setting, and you can click on it, and for example, you can click on the custom preset, or import your preset from the desktop so i'm going to increase the rendering quality to the medium high and ultra all right as you can see the quality is incredible i'm going to click on the atmosphere in here when you adjust your rendering quality you will have some changes in your colors and don't worry it depends on your graphic card it depends on your environment and sometimes your graphic card will calculate best route for the rendering. So I'm gonna come to the ambient brightness and increase it a little bit to the 58. And I'm gonna click on the image bar in here, turn off the auto contrast. We have some shadows in here, so I'm gonna reduce the shadow darkness. As you can see, I can control it from here. For example, some number about negative 26 is good. And for the highlights, I can increase the highlights a little bit to the uh, 26. So I think now it's much better. If I reset the color temperature, I can see the differences in here. But I need some blue sky. For this reason, I'm going to change it to the 7600 Kelvin. And now it's much better. So after all of these jobs, time for the rendering. I'm going to press Shift plus F11. And I'm going to select desktop and I'm going to type it render number one and press save. It depends on your graphic card and it depends on your GPU, but I think this render is really wonderful. We check all of the standard things in this render about the camera, architecture design and Perneon Music Studio. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe us. We try hard for creating these type of tutorials. So we need your support. And your like or subscribe is the best gift for us. Thanks for your watching. Thanks for your time. You are the best. You are my friend.